Hello and welcome to Hulu.com. I'm Badekila Pradeep and this week I'm excited to bring you something that is in the market for a while but uh, what we are trying to do is to compare with its predecessor that is OnePlus 2 is the new one and I am comparing it with uh, OnePlus 1 and let's see which one fares better because I've been using both the phones and I've been using OnePlus 1 for about 6-7 uh, months now but uh, OnePlus 2 uh, I've had it for about one month. Let's see what I found out in my review. These are the two phones that we'll be comparing and both come from the same company and both look almost the same though my favorite in terms of looks is the OnePlus 2 but in terms of performance who wins is something that we need to go in detail now. Though the phones look very similar in size, OnePlus 2 in comparison to its predecessor OnePlus 1 is a little shorter and narrower but it's a little bulkier than the earlier phone because of its battery inside which is a little bigger than the earlier one and it also weighs a little more it's about 175 grams compared to OnePlus 1 which is 162 grams. OnePlus 1 was a form metal plastic which was made to look like a metal but in OnePlus 2 Actual aluminium and magnesium has been used to build the phone. It looks a little wider and bulkier because of that as well and a little heavier. OnePlus 2 comes with sandstone, bamboo, rosewood, apricot and kevlar while OnePlus 1 comes only with sandstone and bamboo. That's about the build of the phone and uh, when it comes to the inside of the phone, both the phones look almost similar even though OnePlus 2 comes with the company's own oxygen OS based on Lollipop but OnePlus 1 initially was shipped with Cyanogen mod though later they had issues with Cyanogen mod company and they came out of the partnership and even OnePlus 1 was released with Oxygen OS but OnePlus 2 has Oxygen OS 2.0 version in it. It looks very much similar to the stock Android if you are a lover of a Cyanogen mod OS I think you will not probably like uh, this phone because of the options that are not as much as OnePlus 1 in it. Both the phones are of the same size that is 5.5 inches with the same display resolution of 1920 by 1080 and both come with the same IPS display with the on-screen and also a physical navigation button as well. One add-on for OnePlus 2 is the fingerprint scanner which was not there so it's more a physical button than OnePlus 1. It looks cooler as well. When we look at the whole feel of the phone I feel that uh, both look almost similar with a little bit of difference in the OnePlus 2 from OnePlus 1. Um, the fingerprint scanner button is something physical, right? So there is a physical looking home button because of fingerprint scanner on the front side and the camera position has changed from left side on top to the right side on top and the speaker is at the same side and when we look at the bottom, speaker and the charging port is also at the same place but OnePlus 2 comes with USB Type-C charging which is a problem if you need to charge the phone often and do not have a Type-C charger in handy until a lot more phones with USB Type-C charging comes into the picture because that's the future that's what Android and Apple both are vouching for and when we look at the right side of the phone last year they had only power button on the right side but now they also have added the volume up and down button on the right side when we look at the left side they have added one extra button this time that is a notification toggle so you can toggle from mute to all notification and in between that is priority notification that's about it on the left side of OnePlus 2 but OnePlus 1 had volume up and down on and the sim tray because the back panel was not removable in OnePlus 2 you can remove the back panel and we'll have to chain the sims and that's dual sim as well and on top aux jack was on the right side on oneplus one while it has moved to the left on oneplus two while the mic remaining at the same place and if we see the back side both look almost similar but the camera position and the logo position has changed a little bit from last year last year it was on top while now it's a little towards down
When we look at the performance of both the phones, both phones come with 16 GB and 64 GB inside, but uh, OnePlus 2 comes with Snapdragon 810 chipset with 64 bit octa core, 1.8 GHz processor. OnePlus One was just Snapdragon 801 chipset, 32 bit quad core, 2.5 GHz in speed, which is a little slower than the present one. Even the RAM is faster in OnePlus 2 because the 64 GB comes with 4 GB while 16 GB comes with 3 GB while OnePlus One had only 3 GB RAM for both the versions. And both the phones run Oxygen OS, even though my phone is still on Cyanogen mod because I love Cyanogen mod, which in comparison with Oxygen OS is much better according to me and much more handy in terms of customization and all that. That's all is what I can say. Other than that, it's a brilliant phone in both the aspects. Both the phones perform really well. So we talk about the camera and both the cameras have the similar features. So 13 megapixel on the back and 5 megapixel on the front. And we think both the phones will perform the same in terms of camera, but that's not the case. With the laser focus and a lot of other additions in the new camera, the 13 megapixel or the 5 megapixel of OnePlus 2 is still much better in terms of its quality than OnePlus 1 because I really liked taking pictures on OnePlus 2 compared to OnePlus 1. And when we talk about the speaker, the sound of the phone, both the phones have the speaker at the bottom. That's probably one of the disadvantages if you want to hold the phone in both the hands sideways and want to listen to something or watch a video while listening to the audio that might close the speaker and you might not be able to listen to the audio properly. OnePlus One is 3100 mAh, OnePlus Two is 3300 mAh and both cannot be removed though there is a removable flap for OnePlus Two which was not available for OnePlus One that's the only difference other than that the battery cannot be removed even though the battery lasts much better on OnePlus Two I feel and with the kind of feature and with lesser weight and lesser battery OnePlus One still performs better but with increased speed and performance I think OnePlus 2 actually needed a little more battery than the earlier one. The fingerprint scanner, notification toggle, laser focus camera and also a removable back are the major points where I fell in love with OnePlus 2 even though with the lesser price tag with much more features for that time and a lot more things added in the smallest frame possible i think oneplus one still holds good in terms of all the other things and also the fact that nfc is not there on oneplus two is one negative thing in the phone i feel and apart from that even the usb type c charging is one thing i think we have to wait and watch for because even though the data transfer happens a little faster on usb type c i think uh, until a lot more phones with the type c coming in to the market, I think it's going to be a little difficult for us to operate with the Type C. I feel that's one of the disadvantages apart from only the Oxygen OS possibility because it's not one of my favorites. And the price is a little high on OnePlus 2. And even now it's invite only but by the time you watch this video you would have already seen a few days of no invites required sale of OnePlus 2 in Amazon and I think they'll keep coming back with such flash sales in the coming days as well for the ones who cannot wait for the invite to come they can go ahead and order right away on uh, the no invite required sale that might come soon though the phone is 25,000 in the market a little more than one plus one with the features that are added I think it's still a good value for money so that was the comparison between one plus two and one plus one and it is very evident for you guys that uh, I really uh, don't like uh, this phone that much this is one plus two you found out that now but uh, in compared to OnePlus One, there are certain good things that I have in this phone, like the fingerprint scanner, but I don't use fingerprint scanner. That's a different story. But the kind of improvement that is there among uh, these fingerprint scanner enabled phones these days, because Marshmallow 
is embedded with the opportunity or the availability of fingerprint scanner in that. Apart from that, the camera is good, even though they have not done any much of improvement in terms of its uh, uh, resolution as such, but the quality is definitely good. I love the photos that I take in this phone. So compared to that, I think OnePlus One has better battery and all that. So I actually find my favorite in OnePlus One and not this new kid around the block. And there is another reason why, because even OnePlus is already launched or the leaks have come into the news that uh, they are launching a five inch device that is OnePlus Mini. So that's all I have in this episode of whodoodoo.com, but uh, don't forget to subscribe to our new channel. So we have created an all new channel for you guys and there'll be more options and opportunity for you guys. Like I said last week, that was the announcement that I made that we'll be going to a new YouTube channel that is Hoodoo official channel and here please subscribe and also comment for the videos and uh, especially last week's video got a comment by somebody they had asked me to review OnePlus 2 and here I am and I have done that and we'll keep doing all these things but all we need is your subscriptions and uh, talk about with your friends and also comment and don't forget to subscribe and that's all in this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'm Badekila Pradeep signing off.